They're what you call tiny tears. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Micromaster, Bomb Shock, and Growl. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As always, Earthrise War for Cybertron Transformers. Their names are Decepticon. Growl and Bomb Shock. Up top, you have some lovely artwork of them in their alt modes. Uh, in the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. Um, they don't come with the little decoder, but they do have a, uh, a piece of the map in there if you want to cut it out. Hey, hooray for maps and things. I don't care about them, but that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Growl and Bomb Shock. This is Growl, this is Bomb Shock, and these are the first of our MicroMasters in Wave 1 of Siege. And they're the little guys, they're little, they're some little guys. But first we'll take a look at Growl. Let's see, he's done all in brown. You got some silver right up front there for the front gear, gri for the front grill. This is where my tongue stops working, the front grill. Got some black there for the windshields and windows. Also on the back there. Got a big old silver cannon going on there as well. Eh, not too bad with detailing. Got a little bit of mold detail. Little wheels. Hey, it does roll as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And we'll bring in Bomb Shock here. And he's a little green tank. Let's see the treads done in silver. Threads. It's a bit of. Molded detail going on there. Septicon symbol there on the back. There's the top. There's the bottom visible. Hey, Shindro. Hi, how you doing? Um, he does not have wheels, so he doesn't roll. He slides. He slides as sliding things should, I guess. And there's a visible. Hey, Shindro. Anyway. So, there you have that. And for comparison, here they are with some Autobots. Micromasters. Yes, you can see the whole Micromaster deal going on there. Lots of Micromasters. They're very, very Micro. And here they are with Leader Class Optimus Prime. And can they fit in Prime's trailer? Can they? Of course they can. They're, they're like Tic Tacs. You can just, you just chuck them in there. There you go. Ooh, you can fit about 50 of them in there. But anyway, there you go. There you have that. Now as far as articulation goes, uh, you know, the top cannon here on Growl can rotate. You can do that. The turrets on Bomb Shock here can rotate and do a full 360. The cannon itself can move up and down. And of course, they are bluish compatible. Hooray for bluishing compatibility. You can just plug that in like so. Plug that in like so. And you can have a big oh double. We're not going to do that yet. We're not doing that. No, no, no. It's too early. Too early. Too early to bloosh. Too early to bloosh. We don't want to bloosh too early. No, that's. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. But anyway. There you have that, and that's basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> okay, so we'll start off with Growl, and this transformation is pretty simple. You want to just remove the cannon there, put that off to the side. We're going to then unfold his little legs, and then split them, and then this whole section comes up and then this section will come back which in turn will bring his head up and that will sit right there like so at an angle then you just have to kind of fish his head out of there Boop, there we go and the cannon just goes plugged onto his arm like so and there you go there you have growl in his in his robot mode and he is a little back heavy so you can see you kind of have to lean him forward a little bit to get him to stand because he doesn't he doesn't have heels so you're gonna have to do a little bit of a, a bit of a leaning job a little leaning tower pizza job to, to get him to stand there you go i was standing out in front of him <laughs> a little hard to stand but a it is what it is and it's getting closer so we can take a look at that noggin you see you got red there for the visor Silver for the mouth plate. Got some silver there on the abdomen. Decepticon symbol right there on the belly button region. Some silver on the forearms as well. 
on the back is pretty much just the vehicle mode right there. But yeah, articulation wise, uh, he can look up, he can totally squirrel, he can totally do that, and you can kind of lose his head in there. Get, get back, get back, get back, get back. There you go. And move up, can move down a little bit. Shoulders are on a ball joint, so they can rotate, move in and out. Legs are on a ball joint. Come forward, that far, back, about that far, forward, that far, yeah, a little bit of rotation, a lot of knee bending due to transformation. And there you go, there you have little, 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 little growl, you stand growl, you, you, you stand because it's normal. And now we will move on to, see you didn't fall over that time, Look, like you got hit by a tank and didn't fall over, but... Standing on his own, that's that's an issue. I don't know. Anyway, but here we'll have, uh, who, who are you? You're a bomb shock. So we have bomb shock here and to transform him. It helps if you take the turn and just kind of move it out of the way. It gets stuck around here. There we go. You just bring his legs down like so. Just bring these back. These can serve as like heel pieces if you want. You can just rotate this all the way up like so. His arms are just going to come out and down. Out and down, and this piece comes down to form his chest plates. And again, you can use these little bits as like heel spurs that hold him up quite nicely. And there you go. There you have Bomb Shock in his robot mode. And uh, he's my favorite of the two. I like this guy. I really like this guy. I just think it looks cool. He's a big, beefy, kind of tanky robot. I like him. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the head. You get some nice metallic blue there for the helmets. And his eyes are done in gold. And a silver face, big Decepticon symbol there on his chest. And even painted his little hands black, which is nice. As well as the upper part of the arm. And he doesn't really have much of foot per se, but he does have those little heel pieces there. And a tank turret on the back, as is usually the case with tank formers. And articulation wise, his head can rotate. Can do a full 360, just a little hard to get a hold of it because his head's so little. But again, the shoulders are on the ball joint, so they can rotate, can move in and out a little bit. He does have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. Only about, can you do the full splits? He can almost do the full splits. Again, a little bit of rotation there at the ball joint itself. And a nice deep knee bend to do to transformation. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here they are with the couple of Autobots Micromasters there. Get that Micromaster action going on. All the Micromasters. With Voyager, Starscream, again. Hey, they're, 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 they're little guys. He doesn't like to stand. You stand. Yay. You know, you, you know, just because here they are with. <laughs> you lean against Prime. There you go. Here they are with. Leader class, Optimus Prime. And the last thing to show off is the weapon mode, because of course all Micromasters have the weapon mode, a micro weapon mode, if you will. And to get them transformed into their weapon mode, you stand back there. We'll start off with Growl here, so you want to remove the cannon from his arm. You want to take this back panel here, bring it all the way up, and then bring this all the way back. So there's a little notch there. Little tab, and that will sit just like that. You just want to bring his head back, flip this post up, and just bring the arms up and bring them to his sides like so. They will, the arms do tab into his hips right there. So just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, tab his feet together like so, and this will just plug in right here like that. And he is all ready to go. And now for Bomb Shock here, we're going to plug his legs together. We're going to rotate him at the waist. We're going to bring the chest up, bring the arms back up. Pretty much like we're going in tank mode. And then we're going to bring the legs up and over like that. And what do we do here? This gets turned around like that. Yes, that gets turned around like that. And this comes down like so. And what's going to happen now is Rel is going to plug into Bomb Shock like this. There we go. 
like that. And there you go. There you have their weapon mode, which looks weird, but hey, it's a thing you can do. <laughs> not many of these combined weapon modes have been really successful. This is this one's not really all that successful, you know. It kind of looks like a gun with, you know, blasters there, blasters up top, I guess, you know, hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it, but we'll bring in Screamer here, and we'll just show this off here, you can see what it looks like when a robot is holding this weapon of mass weirdness, you know, that's pretty much what this is, but hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it, and of course, you can add some blushing to it. You can plug a blush right up in here. You can put, that's not, that's gonna sag. That's a sagging blush right there. That's a sagger. That's a sagger of a blush. You can plug one up there too, and you can kind of have a sort of, th things just start to sag, but you can have a kind of big ol' blush! It's the thought that counts, you know, hey. <laughs> Maybe better without the bluish. That works a lot better without the bluish. With the bluish, just gonna, things just gonna start sagging and going wrong. Not that much of this is right, but hey, you know, it is what it is. But there you go. So there you have the Decepticon military patrol of Growl and Bombshock. And they're cool little figures. I like these MicroMasters. I think they're fun. Bombshock is definitely my favorite of the set. My only complaint about Growl is just he's kind of hard to stand. He needed some kind of, you know, heels or something, you know. Standing him is a bit of a pain in the butt, but otherwise, a pretty fun set here. They're pretty fun on their own, and they become weapons for your other robots. So again, increasing play value, which is something I wholeheartedly endorse. So, yeah, some fun little bots here, so... There you go. Now, again, these are starting to pop up in stores right now. So check your Targets, check your Walmarts. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers, Earthrise, Micromaster, Growl, and Bombshock. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Ah, diminutive Decepticon minions! Hey, have you seen Megatron? Is, is, has he gotten here yet? No, 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 he's not here yet. I am still leader of the Decepticons! You're, you know that's not gonna last too long, right? Shut up! Don't ruin this for me! You, 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 you're small. We may be small, but we're not delusional.